Hello and welcome. Today I show you how you can enable TPM on your desktop computer or even on your laptop. Even if you have a new uh, computer, it might be disabled. So first you have to check the status in MMC. You add in the console the TPM information and you see it's not there. And also in the settings, you have the security processor troubleshooting section, which shows nothing there. And in PowerShell, run as administrator, get TPM is the command. And it's also showing that it's not present. So that's not good news. And I'm checking the manual of my motherboard. And there is even a header for a, a TPM module. And I could buy one, but I actually saw that they have a firmware TPM, FTPM version. So I just have to enable it in the BIOS. So I don't need to install any modules. And I, I go to the BIOS in advanced. This is on my setting. This is the Asus Prime X570P. And you have it here, AMD FTPM configuration. And by default, it's set to discrete TPM, which is, you would need to have the module installed, but I don't have it. I didn't install it. I didn't even know what it was before. Because Windows, 10, Windows 11 now requires TPM 2.0, so this is a whole thing now. So you would change it from discrete TPM. You make sure you read this warning carefully and make sure you understand that if you did use before you change the setting here, you will lose this TPM. Trusted platform module, it's holding security keys. So you might lose access to some files if you did use it before. It's resetting it basically. And yeah, I'm saving the file changes and exit. Now let's see starting Windows again. I start with PowerShell, get TPM. There you go. You have it there, the settings. It looks pretty good. It's a 2.0 version, but watch this in the setting. It's still not there. It doesn't show. It's not recognized. I don't know why. And MMC console, I add the TPM information. It also shows everything looks good here. I can even reset the TPM, clear the TPM. And I thought, okay, I'll do that. Maybe this is why it's not recognizing it in the settings. When I do this, now I'm recording it with my phone. The computer will restart and that's all. No BIOS setting or anything. Uh, the Windows will uh, reset the key. It's kind of a password for the, the chip, the module. And that's all. And I go to PowerShell. I go to settings and it's still not there. It's a bit uh, strange. Hopefully I don't have to buy one of those modules. They're not expensive, but I would prefer not to. I would like to install Windows 11 when it comes out officially. But uh, yeah, this is not so great. And this is a very recent motherboard. And these are the settings. And you can even see it in the device manager. Subscribe, like and share. And I will see you next time.